Uh, Daryl, big week ahead. It's cup quarter final week. Must be an exciting time. Yeah, it's always a, a good week. I think you see a, a little bit of different mentality from the, the players. Not that the mentality is not always good, but um, there's a little bit of a, a, a kick up when it comes to Challenge Cup. I think particularly looking at what we've got in front of us, Hull are a really tough opposition, uh, do, doing really well uh, in, in the league and, uh, and we know that they're getting players back, so it'll be a stiff challenge for us. I guess if you're going to pick your opposition, going to Hull probably wouldn't have been one you would have picked, but it's the cup, you've got to go and beat the best teams, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I was fortunate enough to win the Challenge Cup years back at, at Leeds and um, I think Wigan, St Helens, Bradford who were going outstandingly well at, at the time. We went through all those uh, teams and, and ended up, we played London in, in the final. We'd, we'd beaten uh, all the better sides on the way there. Like, you know, I was... We were pretty proud to do it um, based on beating the better sides and, and we, we're going to have to do it this time. Obviously, St. Helens um, at home and now Hull away, it's, it's tough, but you know the, you don't want anything easy, do you? That, you know, there's no pride in getting anything easy, so it's a big challenge for us and you know, we're looking forward to it. I think um, it's going to take a lot of doing. Obviously, they're, they're a good side and, and they're the last team to beat us, so um, I, I read somewhere that Radders had said we were favourites, I don't know where he's plucked that one from, but uh, we'll just crack on with it, you know, there's no pressure either way, I think it's just 50-50 game, tough one, um, now they're the holders they'll be desperate, we're keen to do something special this year, so so will we should be a great game. How much do you look back at that defeat at Hull, because it was a disappointment at the time wasn't it? Yeah, well I've watched the game a couple of times um, over, over this week and just some of the things that we did early were really ill-disciplined and uh, then they scored some really easy tries on us that, that our defence was, was poor and um, we, we lacked a little bit of focus and then obviously we lose Luke Gale uh, they're down to 12 men and it probably hurt us more looking at how we tried to play a um, little bit of panic in us and uh, we, you know, they, they deserved the win I thought we they held us up over the line about four times and scrambled so well I think that's been a you know, something that they've been outstanding at is keeping teams out when um, when they look like they're going to score. So you've got to be pretty clinical to break them down. Um, I'll be expecting the best performance this this week. They've had a couple where they've conceded every every points against, but I don't think that's going to happen. It'll be a be a tough, tight contest, and the team that comes up with the best performance should be um, going in the semi final. You're in a great position on all fronts this time. Is there any pressure from within to make sure you win this weekend? Yeah, it's, it's a one-off game, isn't it? I mean, what, what's what's pressure? There's there's pressure. There's expectation. There's belief. Uh, you don't get the job done. It's just what what you're going to do on the day. Uh, we've trained really well last couple of days. Um, boys know exactly what's what's coming at them. They know exactly what they're presented with when they've got the ball in in the hands, and it's about delivering a a game that's good enough to beat them. Um, we've got it in there, there's absolutely no question. I think we're capable of beating anybody in this competition. We've shown that consistently, but you've got to play well against all the way from home. Um, and we, we need to be right on top of our game to win this. We're all aware of that. Similarly, Lee Radford will be saying similar things to his side, won't he? What about, are you feel, are the boys feel, are you seeing the benefit, do you feel, this week of, of maybe the lads that missed out against Saints of the week? Yeah, I thought we saw the benefit last week. Um, you know, they were they were fresh and they were they were great in practice. You know, they they led it with with the voices and with their actions, and, and I think they'll they'll do that again. Um, so yeah, we'll see that all the way through the year. I think you know, give blokes a, a bit of a breather and and one to thank you for it, and two the bodies uh, thank them for it. So uh, yeah, it's, well, we're in a good spot. You know, we know we need to play well here, but. Um, uh, we, we're capable of anything, I think, as a, as a team. It'll be tough. There'll be some real challenges for us and um, all are good sides. So we, we're looking forward to it. I think it's just exciting. I think the boys have got a day off tomorrow. When they rock up on Saturday, I expect there'll be a real buzz about them. From what I've seen so far, uh, they're looking in good shape. Junior Moore's out for the foreseeable future. What's the diagnosis there? Yeah, he's MCL grade two, high grade two. So... He'll be he'll be ten weeks. Um, not a great injury, but it'd be like having a, a, a you know new fresh player back when he, we get into the uh, the back end of the the Super Eight, similar to Matt Cooks. So that not good injuries really. Um, you know, we've got a couple of players who have um, who have 
get uh, they're open to getting these types of injuries just the way they play the game and, and the way the game's played now with the tackling styles it's uh, it's not a great injury to get uh, and looking elsewhere how is everyone looking yeah we're all right we're in, we're in good shape I think boys are, are pretty fresh uh, just ready to go I just think we, you know it's a it's a great opportunity for us big game um, I think he's takes me back to when we played at Magic and that atmosphere there and that sort of intensity uh, we've, we've been in some good games this year that will uh, enable us to, to get into this and feel confident in it You talk about blocks of games it's a big fortnight isn't it you've got to play whole home and away and also Leeds in the middle Yeah I don't worry about that too much I think we've just got this one and uh, we'll just crack on uh, what comes after that we'll, we'll deal with you know, this game is, is really important um, though we've done well in the league we've given ourselves a really good position so far um, make sure this is a one-off game don't worry about anything else just get this job done